thanks for coming back. Hey, did you know, did you know that you can earn more rewards from party quests than from story quests? Okay then, have a great day. Time to begin season two, guys. I'm back to begin the second season in Super Kirby Clash. We just defeated our first order in the last episode, and as you can see, I rode the bell earlier and got some adventurers on my side that I'm going to use later off screen to, of course, complete missions, but that's besides the point. Either way, we're back at it again to now tackle through the second season in the series, as we're now going to tackle through our first boss of season two. Let's see who's waiting for us this time. Alright, so this first boss we're going to face against is actually a returning one that we've met far back in the past. Dug up from the grave, it's none other than Blocky. It requires that you have 10 gem apples in order to encounter this guy, and basically just that. But in any case, they recommend us to be at level 7 to encounter this boss, which I guess is no big deal considering I'm at level 6, but whatever. Anyway, he may look slow and heavy, but this block guy can move fast. Here's the four inches associated with this guy, but again, that ain't important because it's not what we're here for now, are we? No, we're here for a mini boss battle, so let's get into it. So as you can see, I just upgraded to the level 2 setting, and by the way, this season's going to be a bit shorter than the last one that I recorded. Because this one's going to be split into, of course, six different episodes instead of eight. You'll see what I'm talking about as soon as I get to the later episodes. But regardless, let's get into this. Alright, Blocky, let's see what you're made of. You really didn't prove to be much of a challenge in the past, so I wonder how much has upgraded since then. Although I'm not going to get cocky, because you know what happens when people get cocky. They end up making a dumb mistake! Freaking fantastic, and I just demonstrated that. Whoa! Freaking Laura. Oh, that's a really tight space. You gotta still get it. Still doing damage against them, though. There we go. Always oh, mad, bro. Hey, not bad as far as damage goes. Not too bad. Although I'm not gonna lie, this, this is lasting a bit longer than that last fight. Oh, jeez! Oh, thank God I regarded that. Oh, I think I'm in real trouble. Whoever gave me a help recovery item, thank you for that. I'm actually shocked by the amount of damage we're doing. Like, honestly. Yeah. Uh, well, at least we got one excellent, so no, no biggie. I think that's the first time we actually did Tree Meteor this early. 6,200 damage. That's what you get. Alright, we almost defeated him. Yeah, he's gone. Urrah! There we go! Alright, that's a neat way to start Season 2. Not too bad at all. Do keep in mind, guys, if you do use Tree Meteor on him, he does play a different animation. So, here it is. Okay then, so, uh, even though I didn't technically use Tree Meteor, that's technically the, the KO animation of Tree Meteor, like the, uh, the other mini bosses that I showed in the first season, so, yeah. But we didn't do too bad on that one. I mean, I could have done a bit better, like I said, but at least I got a silver, so, no issues with that. I'll improve a bit better once I get to the, um, that's a couple of rankings of this game. But overall, not bad. Okay, so far so good. A new party quest has been added. Ooh, I might have to check that out when we next come back. But that's after I complete the second part, uh, the second quest though. So, 
All right, guys, I think this is a good stop for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time when I, of course, come back for the next episode. So till next time, guys, I'll see you later. So till next time, bye.